Okay, one principle I want you to understand. And first of all, I guess what we need to do is have you see which solvent tank I'm using. Of course, it's the one here in the transmission lab. This is for final cleaning. Uh, things that are pretty much clean already, you can scrub off in here, blow dry, and set, apart, and set them aside for final cleaning. Now, a gear set, a planetary gear set. This is a Ravenel one, by the way. See the two planetaries? The sun turns those planetaries. I'm going to pull the sun out. But, uh, is to actually go inside the solvent tank and uh, you'll see how I blow it with air. If you're not careful, you can sure make a mess. Get it all over you. <laughs> but this is one way to like boil solvent, okay? okay. Kind of keep it submerged three, four inches. Just rumble it through there. Okay, and pull it out. Dry it thoroughly. Inside and out. That's not dry enough, but it gets the point across. Now, I want to show you one more little aspect. Okay, so that's the final cleaning solvent tank. There's another solvent tank. Of course, out in the, uh, whoops, out in the, uh, main lab, the big lab, things that are grimy and dirty. That's what this solvent tank is for. This is for the underclassmen, <laughs> and it's also for anything that's grimy and dirty in our, our case. Um, but not the final cleaning. This solvent in this tank, um, well, we, we rotate it out more often, because it gets grungier faster. And of course, there's another solvent tank in the engine's lab against that far wall. That's for dirty stuff too. So uh, please use the other solvent tank I just showed you for the final cleaning of cleaner parts. And then you blow them dry for assembly.